So the first thing I would tell them to do is not get your A plus. And so it's like, I see a whole bunch of people in Facebook groups and on Twitter saying like, oh, I want to get started and get my A plus. I'm like, look, that was what we did in 2008 in order to try and get in. I'm like, look, it's 2022. Because me and you know, you can't just come out the gate doing what you do. Right. A lot of people try to sell that. You just don't have enough experience. You ain't seen enough. Now, if somebody willing to take a chance on you and, and actually train you on that, cool. But you just don't have enough experience and hands on with different things to do that. But if somebody wanted to eventually do what you do, mm -hmm. what would you, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do a drum roll. And at the end of the drum roll, we're going to like, you know, start what you tell them to do. All right. So the first thing I would tell them to do is not get your A+. Plus. And so it's like, I see a whole bunch of people in Facebook groups and on Twitter saying like, oh, I want to get started and get my A+. Plus. I'm like, look, that was what we did in 2008 in order to try and get in. I'm like, look, it's 2022. S security is now a big thing. And that wasn't around then. Cloud is a big thing that wasn't around then. You know, like you don't have to start at a desktop role, but you shouldn't undermine it either because that's a perfect place right. to start out. So I say, look, study your network plus material but don't necessarily take the cert take your security plus and take your ccna and the reason being is even if you want even if you same do, thing i said in my book yeah. well i didn't say ccna i said uh you can just have at least the, the fundamental knowledge of network plus security plus and then the entry level cloud cert uh for security yeah only because they may not have the the money to do that cc and if they want to they can still do it Shoot, the CC, i know by and large the security plus and the, the ccna probably cheaper than security plus because think so i'm pretty sure because i think security plus is what 349 ccna is probably 300 I, I, I last time i took security plus was 2013 so i, I don't even know but mine is old nine. Of, <laughs> my ceu is coming up for my ceu is coming up for my uh cysa plus i wonder if i want to actually do that i'm gonna try to do that for it right now Man, you ain't got your cissp yet uh that's one of the things i put on my um the thing to uh for them to pay for i want to always uh, years ago i said i want to wait till uh, uh had the experience and be in a role where I actually utilize it. Ooh, see, see, and see, like that right there, that's pretty much why I'm trying to do all the stuff that I'm doing right now. That's why I did my YouTube channel, Talk Tech with 50, and that's why I try and, you know, speak as much as I can because I want to dispel so many rumors. Do you know how many CISSPs that know absolutely nothing? Nothing. You know what I mean? No, I know that for a fact. And and that's why and that's why I also know it's like half and half like CCISP means something if you know how to use it and some people because I know a dude like my one of my supervisors one time at Hill Desk, he tried to get it and he failed it another dude on my last team because this is what they're doing they're trying to go take a week boot camp and cram out of stuff anything they go pass and they played you I'm gonna add the little baby a money bag you play a sound bite on here because you can't that's too much information to ingest and you're not going to be able to utilize it correctly if you pass it at all anyway. here's what i'll say the cissp it plays off of what you already know and so so full 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 transparency i passed my cissp my seventh attempt and i paid for them all out of pocket and for those who don't know, that cert was six hundred dollars an attempt, and on my seventh one, it was seven hundred. Imagine that. So, um, and so the thing is, is like me always being like very strong networking, you know, and like system wise, I knew all the protocols and stuff. Like, so those kind of questions with wireless, those were a piece of cake. But the the domain that gave me trouble was always like the legal stuff with e discovery and right. all that other stuff that was my Achilles heel. And so it turns out that um, when I got my first cybersecurity job, it was doing incident response and and um, I got trained by pretty much the forensics guy. So he taught me chain of custody, how to like mm -hmm. capture images, like in case enterprise, he taught me all that stuff. So when I went to go take my test after that, I almost wing, I winged my test and I almost passed it. You know, and so like I was like, oh, all I need to learn is, you know, these two things. I went back and aced it, man. And so yeah. like for people, and, and but that's but that's a good point you made though because it's like honestly, like like the rule of thumb they say you need five years of experience. 
we know you could take it before the end if somebody you put the money up and you put the right thing on the application but all in all i'm all about getting the certs that will that you'll use at work because i see i've seen a lot of people with the, the cissp that's not even in a security role or whatever and so they still trying to find their first role so i'm just like I get it because a lot of people told them if you go get your CISSP, somebody finna pay you like 150k. A lot of people been told that. So what what I would tell people is, so there's the whole HR thing. It's all about getting past HR. You want to use your certifications to get past HR. The CISSP is never a bad thing to have on a certification. However, there's also the job in question that you're actually doing. Those two things are completely exclusive and separate, you know? (laughs) And so what people have to do is, first of all, I tell people this, once you get your CISSP, there will be an expectation that you are in a certain pay range, may not necessarily be 150 because you have to have think your CISSP is supposed to complement your primary skill set because the CISSP mm-hmm. doesn't require a burden of having to be able to do something. And so when I got my CISSP, it was attached to my two Cisco CCMPs. You know, so it's like I was making money because I had two CCMPs and a Palo Alto cert. Then the CISSP, it just enhances that, you know, and so it's like. But see, the the key word that you just said, though, you already had skills. Yeah. See, some of these people don't have that. They just, they going in. And so what's happening is the the game that got saturated. You got these, I ain't going to say what these people is. Against some of my YouTube stuff, but they be in your LinkedIn trying to all in your inbox trying to say, Hey, do you need any certs and this and that? I hit them with the block because you know, people is they didn't see this pandemic as a way to money grab everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Okay, cool, I understand. Y'all can do the, all the other tech areas, but security, networking, that's, I can't say the stuff that matters because everything matters, but the technical things that where we could be fired or not, nah, y'all can't come over here with that, right no way jose you know and i'm a i'm gonna stand 10 toes down on it every time it come across my timeline every time somebody say some foolish i'm gonna stand down on it because i'm like no uh i ain't finna lose my job because you don't know what you're doing i've had to babysit people on the job for because i'm like fam do you know how did you get hired yeah yeah and and, and, and and i guess that's that's pretty much what i fight almost every day is you know my my main goal and my main purpose right now is anybody who wants to get in this field i'm gonna make sure i teach them the skill set that i have and i know then i'll be like okay cool you know how to configure a switch i'm telling you how to do projects how to stay poised how to do rollbacks how to like make network changes like in a set amount of time how you know like change windows like i'm teaching all of these characteristics of somebody you know who's done it and i'm giving you the confidence to do it and now okay go get certified in this you know and i always i always tell people this there is never ever ever going to be an it department where everybody knows everything that they're doing half the people that are there Thanks. are pretty much dead weight <laughs> you see what i'm saying and you, wonder how many people got there. you know what i mean so I mean, it's it's true like I've, I've had to fight you know like not physically you know even though one I want to you know what I mean like mm-hmm. uh, you know like I'm you know like I would always have to fight something babysit you know what I mean because it's like if you're if you come in you know what you're doing and then the people that are there they don't know what they're doing you're making them look bad and so now you're public enemy number one because you actually know what the hell you're doing, you know. So yeah, man. They, you know, I don't even want to get into like how you can come in and do your job right or better than everybody else that people want to hate or or think or think you get special treatment. I'm like, no. Like, I can't remember if I put it in my article, but I said my last position showed me like if me and you and everybody else that look like us get to start the same place as everybody else at a job Mm -hmm. how much more successful we'll be right because I got a chance to start at the same place and within the six months and I didn't even have the most experience there but I just came in working hard 
I was the best. And I ain't gonna say I was the best far as like, oh, I'm this the best technical person. I was just the best worker because I did everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, I was, I think it's in my messages when I was, uh, before I left and I was on like uh, vac- vacation or whatever. Word is bun. Day spring would say, yeah, bro. It's different when you're not here. Because I was the brun. I'm picking up stuff, making stuff look better, you know what I'm saying, than y'all thought it was. <laughs> and, and that that's what I'll tell people. Uh, I put up my last tweet before I kind of like deleted the Twitter app. I was like, hey, come into the new job and do the stuff people don't want to do. People going to pay attention. Don't think they not. They might not say nothing to you. Because like when I first got there, I had one of the one-on-ones. Mm-hmm. My new manager, he was like, hey, man, I just want to tell you, I got a lot of feedback. And everybody's like really high up on you, man. So keep up doing what you're doing. So I'm like go in and make an impact and that's why at the end of my book I put people you know I told people like hey, how you level up at work like how you go to the next level that's why I put that at the end of the thing because it's basically saying all right now you got the job let's 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 get you know let's really 